Welcome to the user tutorial on the advanced interpretations of the Autograph display. Autograph was designed to visually show the nuance and subtleties in timbre. Timbre is the quality of sound and is the mental concept used to distinguish the difference between a clarinet and trumpet playing the same note and a beginner and professional playing the same note. Instead of relying on conceptual phrases and descriptions of what a quality sound should be, Educators and students can use Autograph to convey the concepts of timbre easily and visually. Using Autograph is the same approach as having students listen to professional recordings and emulate that sound. Autograph acts as a digital ear to convert what you hear to a visual display. The result will be that students can understand the complexities of timbre easier and students can improve their sound quality faster than using traditional methods. Timbre is the result of the overtone and harmonic series generated when you play. Timbre is comprised of several acoustic parameters, such as spectral centroid, spectrum structure, spectral flux, attack time, roll-off, and attenuation. When you play, Autograph displays your spectrum structure during the spectral centroid of your sound. The result is a graph of the overtone and harmonics generated when you play. For example, on screen now is the autograph recording of professional saxophone player, Dr. Joe Eckert of Texas Christian University. His overtone and harmonic structure has a unique signature. On this particular note, he produces a very strong fundamental, concert F. He produces a second harmonic, which is the F, an octave up. And he produces a third harmonic at C, which is the fifth. He also produces a minimized fourth harmonic, the F, two octaves up, and a minimized fifth harmonic at B-flat, the third above that. The rest of his pattern is minimized. Compared to my sound, there is a significant difference. I am producing a strong fundamental third and fifth harmonic, but a minimized second and fourth. I am also producing a sixth, eighth, ninth, and tenth harmonic along with many others above that which are not contained in the Eckert example. It is clear a difference in my embouchure and air streams result in my different timbre and difference in the picture of my sound. I will now conduct a second example where I will play concert B, but begin adding pressure to the mouthpiece by biting. Pressure, or biting on the mouthpiece, results in a thinning of my sound, which is shown in the autograph display as the overtone and harmonic frequencies changing from being very wide to very thin. By biting, the resonance of the fundamental is reduced to just 495 hertz, where before I was producing 495, as well as 494, 493, 492, and 491, as well as 496, 497, 498, and 499. As you can see, this occurs at all the overtone and harmonic frequencies. The resonance of these supplemental frequencies could be called things like fullness, bigness, or broadness in the sound, but it is clear the effect it has on the picture of the sound. The beauty of Autograph is that students do not need to know anything technical or scientific to use it. Simply use Autograph and adjust your embouchure and airstream until the graphs match. As an example, listen and watch how Autograph responds to me modifying my sound to match the Dr. Joe Eckert example. As you can see, adjustments to my airstream, embouchure, throat position, and pressure have significant impacts to the resultant pattern of the overtone and harmonic frequencies generated when I play. Using Autograph, I am able to control and manipulate these overtones to produce a pattern similar to the professional example. Students immediately see how changes in their technique impact their sound without requiring years of ear training or an understanding of complex acoustics. 
Using Autograph during instruction or at home, students can practice producing a quality, professional sound with confidence. Autograph contains recordings of the chromatic scale of all the listed musicians, allowing you to practice matching your sound across the range of your instrument. Autograph is best used during the 15-minute long tone phase of your warm-ups and works best if you are able to play with a steady, controlled sound so the bars on the graph are not jumping around before you begin making adjustments. It's simple, it's easy, and it's effective. What does your autograph look like?